Okay, in this video, we're going to go through some pH calibrations. We'll go through a two-point calibration, then a single-point product calibration. We're going to use this sensor in ArcAir right now. It's reading uh, pH uh, 7.05 and 7.04. It's sitting in pH buffer. So let's click into this sensor and see what we've got. So I can see my sensor here. It's got uh, 648 operating hours on it. The quality indicator is quite good. So let's go over to calibration and see uh, see how this works. So the first thing I notice when I go to calibration is I see that I have a calibration point one, 4.01, and calibration point two, 7 pH. So let's, since my sensor is sitting in seven buffer, let's see if we start there, what happens. So I'm going to punch in just a mock lot number here. And uh, let's start here. And for the purposes of this video, uh, I won't wait the full three minutes for sensor stabilization here. Um, if your sensor, the value is moving around or the temperature is moving around, then you definitely want to wait for it to stabilize to get the proper calibration. Um, but in this case, it's already sitting in seven buffer. So it should be quite stable. So I'm gonna click next. And um, I get a note here. Um, it says add comment. It says calibration point two is too close to point one, less than one pH unit. So I failed my calibration and that's because I'm trying to calibrate at a point that is exactly the same as my second point. And so that's a problem. You need to have at least a difference of one pH unit to do a proper calibration. Um, the other thing, if I go out of this and uh, go back and look at my sensor here, it's now yellow. And uh, if I click out, click back in here, I'm going to get an error message here. It says pH calibration recommended because the last calibration was not successful. And now we know why. So let's um, try this again. So I'm going to go over to calibration and Right now, I'm going to move the sensor over to my four buffer. So we'll start off in four buffer here. The value is starting to decline here. I'm going to put in a lot number. And uh, I'm going to hit start. And let's give the sensor a little bit of time here to fully acclimate to the four buffer um, that I just moved it into. Uh, I can see right now it's at 3.98. So it's doing very, very well. It's responding very quickly. So so let's click next here and see what we've got. And this time I was able to successfully calibrate um, at 4 pH. So I'm going to click save here. I can save a calibration report. And normally I would calibrate at seven pH. Four and seven are my most common points. So I would calibrate that as my next point. But sometimes we get customers that want to calibrate at other values. So um, I'm going to calibrate at uh, 9.21 pH buffer. So I'm going to move the sensor over to that. And we'll see what it looks like to actually see the uh, arc air recognize a different buffer value. So I'll put in the lot number and my sensor is right, right now, it's reading 9.15, it's getting very close to the value already. So let's give it a second here to stabilize and let's see what we've got. And that's probably enough time. I'm going to click next. And even though it says calibration point two at seven pH, it actually passed at 9.21. It recognized that buffer and it passed calibration. So if I click save here on my report, and if I go out and come back into my sensor here, it's green, which means everything is good. And I now see it's at 4.01 and 9.21 for my values. So the next thing we're gonna try here is the process or product calibration. 
that's the next tab over here. And this is a calibration that's typically done by comparing the pH sensor in the process um, with a sample of that process. So you're taking a, a, a slipstream or a grab sample of that process, measuring pH, and you're using this to offset the value. In this case, I don't have a process, but I'm going to place a sensor back in my 7 pH buffer here, and um, I'm going to perform a new product calibration. So let's click Start here. And in this case, it's going to ask me what my reference value is for my pH. So I'm going to say 7.00, because that's what I'm in. I'm in 7 buffer. And I'll click Next. And it's almost there. And it's overshot a little bit here. It's at 6.64. I'm going to say done. And now I've built a little bit of offset into my sensor because I did that uh, process calibration. And this is because I'm not using good laboratory practices. I'm moving the sensor back and forth and not waiting the full time frame here. But um, so I've completed a product calibration. The other thing that you notice here is that it didn't have the option to generate a report because this product calibration is assuming that this is being compared against my process liquid and the pH of my process liquid and not against a, uh, uh, a standard buffer like four or seven or 10 pH buffer. So that's why there's no report because it's not, uh, um, it's not a formal calibration there. So that is um, two point and single point product calibrations. And please let me know if you have questions. Thanks.